Mock draft season continues here on a Ravens Rundown. Tyler Jones here with you. Appreciate you joining us. I have my third mock draft for your Baltimore Ravens. The first one post-free agency and our first with trades. You are not going to want to miss what's ahead here on this edition of Ravens Rundown. We'll go over all seven rounds with some surprising moves coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do, if you've been a Ravens fan for 10 years or more, I need you to like today's video. If not, comment how long you've been a fan of the purple and gold. Let us know in the comment section. Show some love, and we'll get started with today's show. Let's begin looking at all the picks for the Ravens. Set the scene here. First round pick at 30. Second round pick at 62. Third round pick at 93. Two fourth round picks at 113 and 130. And then they have a fifth round pick at 165. A sixth round pick at 218. And two seventh round picks at 228 and 250. So all in all, the Ravens have nine picks heading into the 2024 NFL Draft. The team needs for the Ravens include the defensive backs at corner and safety, wide receiver, edge, defensive line, offensive line. You also include the running back position as well. So with that said, the Ravens, we're going to start right away with a trade alert off the top with the Ravens pick at 30. We got an offer from the Seattle Seahawks that we will gladly ex accept. It's like stealing candy from a baby here. The Ravens are going to give up this pick and trade down from 30 to 81. But in exchange, we're going to pick up the 102nd overall pick, a first-round pick next year, a second-round pick next year, and a fourth-round pick next year. That's a lot. I love this. And, and you saw our picks earlier. We still have a second and third round pick of our own as is. This is how you win championships, is stockpiling picks. To me, this is a, a trade I cannot refuse for the Baltimore Ravens. What do you think? Should the Ravens trade down from 30? If they get an offer like that, would you do the same thing? It's our pinned comment today. Weigh in. Tell us what you think. Why for yes, in for no, if the Ravens should trade down or not. Today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Game Time is the place to go for the best seats, the lowest prices guaranteed. Tickets to sporting events, concerts, theater productions, comedy shows, and more. Game Time's got it all. Prices drop as the event gets closer. So if you're waiting to the 11th hour to get your tickets with Game Time, that's okay. Game Time has tickets to the Orioles. Uh, they got all sorts of stuff going on that you can go see for yourself. And we're offering $20 off when you use the promo code CHATSPORTS at checkout. Download Game Time today. Terms and conditions do apply. Game Time, proud partner of Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. Glad to have them aboard here on today's show. So now we move ahead to the 62nd pick. And here's the best available. Still some very good players for the Ravens to choose from, including Troy Franklin, wide receiver from Oregon, Malachi Corley, wide receiver from Western Kentucky, being dubbed the clone of Debo Samuel, Patrick Paul, offensive tackle from Houston, Jatavian Sanders, tight end from Texas, and Chris Jenkins, defensive tackle from Michigan. Now, the pick is in. Dun, 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 dun. With the 62nd overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Patrick Paul, Offensive tackle, Houston. We're going to take care of one of our biggest needs right away with a very impressive football player in Patrick Paul. Played for the Houston Cougs over the last several seasons and had really just a seamless transition from the American Athletic Conference to the Big 12 this year as he was first team all Big 12. Mel has him as the number 10 offensive tackle on his big board. The scouting report on Paul includes the following. He's got excellent length with strong hands, good athletic ability, good stopping power. He's edgy, chippy play personality. He does have a bad habit of drifting and oversetting. And for Baltimore, you're getting somebody that is excellent when it comes to pass blocking. His PFF grade last year was a 91.5 in pass blocking. His run blocking grade, not bad, but not nearly as good as pass blocking grade, 69.4. Overall grade of 81.1 in 12 games played. What do you think of that pick? Should the Ravens draft Patrick Paul? If you think they should, type D for draft. If not, type P for pass. I would like that value in that second round to go with Patrick Paul. Take care of uh, a tackle position, get a starter right there. I'm in. Let me know what you think. We're talking about your Baltimore Ravens each and every day here on the channel with daily news and rumors. We're doing draft coverage. 
Uh, we're also talking trades, free agency, and more. It's all in one place. The latest happenings in your Baltimore Ravens are covered each and every day here on the channel. Never miss a moment. If news breaks out, we break in. Subscribe now for free, youtube.com slash Ravens TV. Let's go to the third round now. The Ravens get some receiver help as we find Florida wide receiver Ricky Persol with the selection. Uh, and this is somebody that is seeing his uh, stock really start to skyrocket here. Played for Florida the last couple seasons, played at Arizona State before that, led Florida in catches, receiving yards, uh, and receiving yards per game this past season. He was an all Pac-12 honorable mention back in 2021. And this is somebody that tests very well. The scouting report on him, you're looking at somebody with great long speed, very good length, great ball skills, detailed run route runner, a little inconsistent with flexibility and explosiveness, but overall, not a bad prospect and somebody that could be a very good number two receiver alongside Zay Flowers in this Ravens offense. The statistics for Ricky uh, Persall last year included 65 catches, just under 1,000 yards, and four touchdown scores. Staying in the third round, we find a Jayhawk. Oh, man, I'm excited about this as a Jayhawk like myself. I would love to have this guy here. The Ravens select Kansas offensive guard Dominic Pooney with the 93rd overall selection in the third round. Pony began his career at the D2 level at Central Missouri and then transitioned to the Big 12 Conference where he was outstanding the last two seasons with the Jayhawks as they went to back-to-back -back bowl games for the first time in over 15 years. And this is some good value here. Still available in the third round as Mel Kuyper's got him as the number four offensive guard on his big board and somebody that should compete for a starting role right away. Wide-bodied frame, thick build, heavy jarring hands, calm and collected footwork. He's very patient. He plays through the whistle. He does have below average arm length. The numbers, according to PFF, on Dominic Pooney include an overall grade of 80, a run block grade of 72.3, excellent pass blocking grade at 90.4 in 745 snaps last season. Who's a player the Ravens should draft? We've already gone through several names. We've got more to go, but I want to hear from you guys. Wait in the comment section. Let us know what you think. Who would you like to see in Baltimore in 2024? Let us know. All right, let's go through the rest of these now. We'll skip ahead to the fourth round. 102 overall, the Ravens go corner. This is where we find Josh Newton from Texas Christian University, a player that's good in press and versus the run. So kind of a do-it-all guy of sorts, if you will. Then we go to the 113th selection, and the Ravens go with Texas linebacker Jalen Ford. you got to replace Patrick Queen somehow. I think Jalen Ford has got the talent to potentially be a starter in this league, might even be better than Trenton Simpson potentially there uh, to go alongside Roquan Smith on that front. I like Jalen Ford. Good size, fluid hips. Hips don't lie, as they say. Watch out for Jalen Ford there. And then we're going to go with another TCU player. At 130, as we'll go running back this time, Amani Bailey with the 130th selection in the fourth round. And this is a guy that's all gas, no breaks. He hits that gas instantly out of the gates. He's rolling. Uh, you're going to like the, the speed that he brings to the table. Much different type of back than Derrick Henry. Could be a good compliment for Derrick Henry there. Then in the fifth round, we go defensive tackle. We go with Tyler Davis out of the University of Clemson. You can always trust a guy named Tyler. And this is somebody that is strong. He is hard to move. His presence is known. He makes his presence known with how big he is. I like Tyler Davis a lot there. More to come. Still a few more picks left before we wrap up. What's the biggest need in this year's draft for the Baltimore Ravens? Give me a need or two that comes to mind. What do you think it is? What is John Harbaugh and Eric DeCosta need to dress? Weigh in, let us know. Joe Milton, quarterback from Tennessee, comes off the board here with the 218th selection in the sixth round. Need a backup quarterback. Need somebody to back up Lamar Jackson. I don't trust Josh Johnson, uh, quite frankly, to be that guy. I think Joe Milton would be a fascinating prospect to bring in. He's got a cannon for an arm. And his receiving core wasn't great last year at Tennessee, so he wasn't put in the best position to succeed. He's a project. I like the possibility just to see what he's got, what he could do in the NFL offense. 
Then we go to the seventh round, and we'll go edge rusher. This is where we find Eric Watts from UConn with the 228th selection. Rangy to spoil the run is what you're going to hear about Eric Watts as far as that goes. I like what he brings to the table there. And then we'll go with another offensive lineman, Kyle Hergel, with the final pick of the draft for the Ravens at 250. So how did I do? Grade the mock draft, A, B, C, D, or F. Way in the comments section. Let us know what you think. Anything less than an A, you're a hater. I only want A's in there. But uh, chime in. Let me know what you think of this long mock draft for the Ravens. So there you have it. That is the mock draft. Had a lot of fun doing it. Always love when we get to talk mock drafts here on Ravens Rundown. If you enjoyed today's show, like the video. We certainly appreciate it. We'll see you next time right here on Ravens Rundown. Thank you.